Logistics was formed in 1988 by Jim Miller. The company specializes in refrigerated food services, with Jim working alongside his son Robert as general manager. We've flown here to Hobart to chat to the pair about their recent investment in technology and their future plans for growth. SRT stands for Statewide Refrigerated Transport, which was a prior name before we updated the business to SRT Logistics, uh, which we did as part of expansion onto the mainland. Our major clients are Woolworths, Coca-Cola, Schweppes, uh, Lion, Murray Goulburn. So we carry all of their food products, so we carry food only. We stay away from general freight typically. Um, and for all of those key customers, we provide specialised logistics service. So not just basic transport, we, we manage the supply chain uh, for whichever task they engage us for. Currently we've got approximately 200 staff of which around 140 are drivers, the rest are warehouse and middle management staff um, and trucks of fleets around 90 trucks and a little over 100 trailers. Our best advertisement I think is the trucks on the road which we try and keep clean all the time. We bought the Scania product after we trialled two or three other brands to uh, assess the efficiency and the um, acceptance with our drivers. So far they've proved to be a really good uh, choice. The fuel efficiency has, has bettered our expectations by probably 0.2 or so a kilometres per litre, um, which at the end of the day when we're doing 200 odd thousand a year in each one mounts up to quite a few dollars. Uh, I think we're different from our competitors because we probably compete in a larger, more um, third-party logistics space where typically most of our competitors are the major corporates. So being a private family business, we bring something a little bit different to the table. Um, personal management, fast decision making, uh, and a high focus on quality and service. Being in Tasmania means, you know, we're not, not completely open to the national market and and the full raft of other competitors and operators that are out there. So it's a little bit sheltered from that point of view, you know, but on the downside being an island state where we're landlocked and, you know, we're heavily reliant on Bass Strait and shipping services across there. So, you know, mixture of good and bad. Our plans for the next couple of years are to continue to grow the business. We definitely believe in, uh, you know, we've got to keep growing and keep moving forward. So we've invested a lot in IT and other areas to position the business ready for the next growth step. We will become a bit more efficient and therefore have a better outcome not only to our bottom line but to our customers. Mm -hmm.